When the game gets rough and this life just seems so tough, make we talk, my people, make we talk. When this town becomes an ugly place, don't let it erase the smile from your face. Make we talk, people, make we talk. Conversation is the key. A guiding light for you and me Spark a talk and you will see Conflict solver A to Z World leaders master the art of self-defense Just by talk So people make we talk Hey, we're living in a world that on ourselves we must depend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the game gets rough And this life just seems so tough talk. My people make we talk When this town becomes an ugly place Don't let it erase the smile from your face Make we talk People, make we talk Conversation is the key A guiding light for you and me Spark a talk and you will see Conflict solver A to Z World leaders master the art of self-defense Just by talk, so people Make we talk Hey We're living in a world That on ourselves we must depend Make we talk People mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the game gets rough And this life just seems so tough Make we talk, my people, make we talk When this town becomes an ugly place Don't let it erase the smile from your face Make we talk, people, make we talk Conversation is the key A guiding light for you and me Spark a talk and you will see Conflict solver A to Z World leaders master the art of self-defense Just by talk So people make we talk hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We're listening from around the world and the Eastern Caribbean. This is the Mequi Talk YouTube channel live from wherever you are around the world. Welcome to the program. Welcome to this morning program. Apparently, Mrs. Holness is trying to put Mrs. Curtis underneath the bus. It seems that way to me that Mrs. Honus is trying to put the goodly Miss Curtis underneath the bus pertaining to the tabling of the EG report, the IG report. That is what her intention is, is to put the goodly lady underneath the bus. Because they refuse to tell the Jamaican people who are the six parliamentarians who are on an investigation. And she refused to table it in the parliament of Jamaica. And because she refused to table it, what she's doing now is literally blaming other people for her stupidity, for her refusal of tabling the report. The good lady, Miss Curtis, has said that she has never seen the document. 
She told the Jamaica Gleaner she can't comment on the document. The goodly lady, Miss Curtis, the clerk of the house, have served the Parliament of Jamaica well. She has been there for a long, long time now. And she has served, if my memory serves me correctly, I think she has served the Siaga administration, the Mandela administration, the P.J. Patterson administration, the Portia Simpson Miller administration, the Bruce Golden administration. There was no problem with her. And now she's serving the Holness administration. Yes, the Auditor General report. Thank you. And now all sorts of shibanga and going on with the lady's name. And it begs to ask the question, is Mrs. Honest trying to push the good lady and eat the bus? Is Mrs. Honest trying to cover up herself by blaming Miss Curtis? Those are the questions we need to ask ourselves this morning. And so, as we go to what is going on, As we go to what is going on, as we go to what is going on, we're going to listen to what the clerk of the clerk, the clerk of the court, the clerk of the House of Parliament, sorry had to say this morning. I hope I'm playing the right one because this is all unfamiliar. I find the right one here. Yes. Major development this morning in the in in in, in the saga. Listen to this. Okay, hold on for me. I don't think you all are hearing this. I don't think you all are hearing this. So let me see something here. Let me go back to this <clears throat> and add this up here. Hold on for me, please. Let me take off this. I think there is something going on with the audio clipping. Um, oh Lord, and I wanted you all to hear this, you know. Hopefully, no. Hopefully, I can. Oh, yes, I think it's this one. Hold on for me, please. Bear with me. I'm trying to get this. Not this one. So we got to stop this one here. Stop this one. And go back to this. Share. I think it's this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I hope you all can hear this now. Let's do this. A major development is unfolding in the saga of the non-tabling of reports from the Auditor General, with Speaker of the House of Representatives, Juliet Hallness. Yesterday charging that the alleged actions of the clerk to the Houses of Parliament, Valerie Curtis, 
in failing to adhere to the Speaker's ruling and applicable procedures, amount to a gross dereliction of duty. Speaker Hallness indicated in a letter to Curtis that her failure to comply with the Speaker's ruling has brought the Parliament into disrepute. When the Gleaner contacted Curtis yesterday for comment on the letter, she declined, saying she had not seen the document. She has not seen the document. She did not want to comment because she has not seen the document. The question we're asking this morning is Mrs. Holness telling the truth to the Jamaican people or is she lying? Is Mrs. Curtis lying? Or is she telling the truth? Those are the questions we need to ask ourselves this morning. That's the question we need to ask ourselves this morning. Something is not adding up in the Parliament of Jamaica with Mrs. Holness. Something not adding up. And I believe that the shadow of a doubt that the goodly lady, Mrs. Curtis, is telling the honest truth. That is my belief. I do not believe Miss Curtis is lying about anything. Listen to this. I cannot respond to it until I've seen it. And when I've seen it, I'll think about it, she told the gleaner. At the same time. The Gleaner has confirmed that the Auditor General's Department yesterday sent back the two reports to George William Gordon House. Last Friday, Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis told the Gleaner that two reports she sent to Parliament on December 28 and January 29 were returned to her offices by the Speaker. In a letter to the clerk, the Speaker said she had a responsibility to ensure that there is compliance with established laws, protocols and guidelines, inclusive of rulings in the House of Representatives. <laughs> look how long look how long you have those reports sitting on and it's very ironic that you decide now you decide now to send back those two reports to the Auditor General something is not adding up here when the budget debate was on. And you remember what caused the whole con um, shebang in the Parliament of Jamaica? You all remember what, what caused the whole shebang in the Parliament of Jamaica? Let me see if I can find it here. And show you what started the whole shebang in the Parliament of Jamaica. Till Mr. Mr. Holness, Mr. Golden has to come outside. Literally come outside. To give his presentation. What really caused it, you know, is because Mr. Golden, Mr. Mark Jefferson Golden, went into the Parliament of Jamaica and decided to ask some questions in his budget presentation, decided to give a statement pertaining to what is going on in the Parliament within his budget presentation. And it happened as that the people who owns the Parliament, the wholeness is, they walked out of the parliament because they didn't want to hear what Mark Golden is asking. So the wholenesses came out of the parliament. They walked straight out of the parliament. That's what happened. And because Mr. Golden didn't mince words, did not mince words to ask questions in the parliament of Jamaica, In the Parliament of Jamaica. Because he did not afraid to say what is on his mind. It lead to the Parliament of Jamaica, lead to them walking out. Let us go over to what really happened. The Gleaner is gonna provide that for us. Hold on there. Let's go over to here.
And it begs to ask who is really in charge of the House of Parliament. Is it the Jamaican people or is it Mr. Holness and his wife? Is it the Jamaican people or is it Mr. Holness and his wife who is in charge of the Parliament of Jamaica? But what really causes the whole shebang in the Parliament it's because of what Mr. Golden, Mr. Mark Jefferson Golden, went into the parliament and asked. And we're going to play that for you right now. And now, because he asked that the Speaker of the House of Representatives decide to send back the report to the Auditor General. Listen to what happened in the parliament. To be independent and must act independently of the government today. That is the tradition. That is the that is the tradition. Unprecedented. Prime Minister Andrew Holness leads a walkout of government members from the Parliament. The Prime Minister praises his wife and House Speaker after the opposition leaders' criticism. The failure was forced to resign as concern about a potential conflict of interest in the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Juliet Holness, being the wife of the head of government. When the former Speaker was forced to resign as, re as a result of an Integrity Commission investigation, the, the move to replace her with the wife of the Prime Minister, so that the head of Parliament is now the spouse of the head of government, really does not sit well with the tradition that the Speaker must act independently of the government of the day. The speaker, the speaker is intended to be independent and must act independently of the government today. That is the tradition. That is the, that is the tradition. The failure. The failure. The failure. Mr. Speaker. Members. 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 Walkout ended Mr. Golding's speech as the House lost its minimum number to remain in session and the proceedings were later adjourned. Mr. Golding completed his speech on Duke Street outside the old parliamentary building. The opposition supported Mrs. Holness's nomination as Speaker last September. The Jamaica Labour Party, its young professional affiliate Generation 2000. You see what is going on? That is what led. That is what led to the whole shebang around in the parliament of Jamaica. That is what led to it. That is what led to the whole of them walking out of the parliament. And now, now, it seems as if Mrs. Holness wants to blame Mrs. Curtis, Mrs. Valerie Curtis, a long-serving member long-serving civil servant to the people of Jamaica, a member of the Jamaica civil servant, a woman who have served her nation well. To me, it seems as if they want now to blame her for not giving Mrs. Holness the report the whole, so the, the report could not be tabled. But Mrs. Holness is the one who sent it back to the Auditor General. 
So she sent a message out to the general. That means it was given to her. So why is she blaming this good lady? Why she wants to blame Miss Curtis for what went on? Is it that Mrs. Holness is trying to cover up something? Hmm? Is it that Mrs. Holness is trying to cover up something that she did? Mr. Golden went on to Duke Street in front of the Parliament of Jamaica, the People's Parliament, to finish his budget presentation. Period. All I can say to him, and I would have said it to him if we were still in the house, all I can say, if I were in your position, I would take for myself and hand over to someone else who is not compromised. Yes. Iconic global track superstar, the Honorable Usain Bolt, and many other in innocent investors were carried down in the scandalous SSL fiasco. And we can't hear anything about charges being brought of against course. the culprit. I have been told that the DPP's office is pulling, the, is dragging their feet when there are a number of people at the Financial Investigations Division are seeking to bring charges against. In fact, in August last year, the cleaner carried a report that from the FID that there were several persons that they were intending to move against with charges. That report is no longer on the cleaner website, but I am told that the DPP's office is dragging their feet on this. The Kroll forensic report, which has cost taxpayers millions of dollars, was delivered to the government months ago. It must be released to the public so we can see what the findings are. Jamaica will not accept a... You all see what is going on. A member of the chat room asks how long Mrs. Curtis has been a clerk of the, the court. I think she has been deputy clerk of the court for a little while. I don't remember the name of the, the clerk herself who retired and then Mrs. Curtis took over. I think Mrs. Curtis took over in 2016. My memory served me correctly. And she has never been involved in any of, in any of these shibangarang. Is it that Mrs. Curtis is taking the blame for somebody in the parliament? Or is it that Mrs. Holness is trying to push her underneath the bus? What is going on? You see? What we fail to understand, you know, Jamaica is a democracy. And the FBI won't come into Jamaica just like that, or authority come to Jamaica like, just like that to, to, to investigate a prime minister and his wife. They have to commit a crime that involves the United States of America. Now, there is nothing to prove to the United States from anybody, from either the call to action group or Ratigan himself, that they have committed a crime. You know? But what is going on? Why are they delaying the tabling of the Auditor General report? Why is it that Mrs. Holness now is throwing Mrs. Curtis underneath the bus? Why Mrs. Holness is afraid to tell the Jamaican people who the six are? Why Mrs. Holness is afraid, and, and even the, the Auditor General report is afraid to tell the Jamaican people who the civil servants are who are in who are under investigation too. Because you have some civil servants who are in the high up of the Vumbava and the Vumbavi, you know, who is under investigation. And the people of Jamaica must know their names. We are paying taxes in this country. We are paying the civil servants, it's taxpayers' money paying the civil servant. And the people of Jamaica need to know who are those people. So you, Mrs. Honest, 
who is trying to throw Mrs. Curtis underneath the bus because of your negligent and your refusal. Your refusal, Mrs. Mrs. Holness, to table the, the, the report in the Parliament of Jamaica. And now you're saying that the report, you sent back the report to, 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 to the Auditor General. You did it. And why did you do so? Because you're saying that it wasn't properly sent to you and also the Shibangara. Huh? It wasn't properly sent to you. So you see it fit to send it back. And because people start asking questions now, you're going to say that Mrs. Curtis is the one to be blamed. And she's, she, she's negligent on her duties. You can bet how she speaks to Mrs. Curtis behind closed door. Like it's her daughter. You can bet how Mrs. Curtis gets some disrespect from Mrs. Holness as Speaker of the House. Because if she can go on like that on television to the Jamaican people, members of the Jamaican diaspora. You can imagine how she speaks to Mrs. Curtis behind closed door. This is the Jamaica that we're living in. Where the husband is in charge of one arm of government and the wife is in charge of the other arm of government. And all of these reporters that come into the parliament is being sit on. And then she can turn it around and blame the clerk of the house. This is the Jamaica we talk about a 2030 vision to live, work, and raise family. Lives, live, work, and raise family on my foot? Huh? Live, work, and raise family on my foot? When you all are treating the Jamaican people as if they are nothing. Mrs. Honus is involved in some land saga again. She's involved in an $800 million housing complex and a land saga there. Yesterday I brought to you a situation where Mrs. Honus is trying to take a woman who is on Crown land for 40-something years. The Water Commission land. Nobody from the Water Commission give her eviction notice. And she had been there for 40-something years. She had been there during the Michael Manley era, the Siaga era, the Patterson era, the Portia Simpson Miller era, and the Bruce Golden era. But it has to take this government, this dictatorial government, this dictatorial government headed by the Prime Minister of Jamaica and his wife, Juliet Holness, to go around and bulldozer down people of Crown Land. And now you're going to use the same bulldozer to bulldozer down the woman, banana, coffee, and everything. And now you're saying that the Speaker of the House is to be blamed. Huh? It's to be blamed. Well, let us see. As I said before, is it that Mrs. Curtis is lying? Or Mrs. Holness is lying? Who is telling the truth? Let us see what's going to happen because today at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock US time, the Parliament of Jamaica is supposed to convene. Let us see if Mrs. Holness is going to address the situation in the Parliament this afternoon. And the Jamaican people are still waiting on her husband to apologize to the Jamaican people for walking out on the Jamaican people from the Houses of Parliament. Mr. Holness, if you have any morals, sir, if you have any respect, sir, and any morals within you, sir, you will apologize to the people of Jamaica from the Parliament of Jamaica, sir, for walking out on the Jamaican people, sir. You did not walk out on the People's National Party members, sir, during a budget presentation, sir. You walked out on the Jamaican people, sir. The Jamaican people put you there, sir. Not the People's National Party. 
You are the Prime Minister for all Jamaica, sir. And you, you Prime Minister Michael Andrew Brogard Holness, you walked out on the Jamaican people, sir. And the Jamaican people need an apology from you, sir. Because never in my history have I ever seen something like this. Never in my life as a Jamaican citizen. And I'm not a member of any political party. Now, do I want to be a member of any political party? I am a Jamaican. And never in my life of watching budget presentation that a prime minister walk out on the opposition leader. Or a prime minister walk out on the Jamaican people doing a budget debate. Forget about the opposition leader. A prime minister walk out of the parliament and the Jamaican people. You and your wife, sir. It seems as if you and your wife have no regard for the Jamaican people, sir. You are the Speaker of the House of Representatives, sir. Have no regard for the Jamaican people, Prime Minister Holness. And if you truly respect us, sir, you, Mr. Holness, who claims that you respect the Jamaican people, sir, that's your claim, You'd go to the Parliament of Jamaica this morning or this afternoon because you did not do that, sir. You have the opportunity, you have the opportunity time, sir. It was, given, it was given to you. The opportunity was given to you during your presentation to the Jamaican people from your budget debate, sir. Before you start your, your budget presentation, sir, bigging up your wife and your mother. Like it seems as if it's your wife and your mother put you in the Parliament of Jamaica. It's not the Jamaican people. And what you should have done, Mr. Holness, before you start bigging up your wife and your mother, sir, you should have apologized to the Jamaican people, sir, from walking out. What do you need to do, sir? But you believe that you're so cocky that you can't apologize to no one. That's your belief. You believe that you are Mr. High and Mighty. But the Jamaican people are beneath you, sir. The Jamaican people are beneath you, Prime Minister Holness. So they don't deserve your apology. If you're working somewhere, Mr. Holness, and you walk off the job, you'll be fired the next morning, sir. Because you walked off the job. But because the Jamaican people refuse to think about Jamaica and don't think about your party or the People's National Party. That is why you decide to do what you feel like to do to them, sir. That is why your wife will go around and use her bulldozers and bulldozer down people property. That is planting a little banana, a little dashina, a little mm -hmm yam. You don't know the yam they call mm -hmm yam? Yes. That's why she'll go around and bulldoze down people's property of the bananas and planting. Because you, Mr. Holness, nor your wife, have no regard for the Jamaican people. As a matter of fact, you, Mr. Holness, Mrs. Holness, and Everett Warmington, has no regard for the Jamaican people. Both, all three of you believe that the Parliament of Jamaica belongs to no. All three of you believe that George William Garden House, the People's House, belongs to you, Prime Minister Holness, you, Juliet Holness, and you, Everett Warmington. That is why you all go around and disrespect us. And when the election come around, we jump up like a bunch of idiots. Like a bunch of hyenas. Jumping up and down about shower labor rights and shower comrades. We don't think about this piece of rock. We don't think about Jamaica land we love. And so this morning, 
It's all over in the Jamaica Gleaner. Where Mrs. Honus is saying that Mrs. Kurt, Miss, Mrs. Curtis, the clerk of the House of Representatives, has dropped down on her job. In other words, she stopped doing her job. Because her, 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 her dereliction of duty is calling to questioning. In which modern democracy, in which other modern democracy, can you have a political leader, prime minister leading a country? And you can't hear how much money he, he, he worth? You can't hear if, if, if he worth $10, $50? His income declaration cannot be, cannot be submitted all now? And he still, sit in, he still sit as prime minister of this country? Huh? He still sits as prime minister of this country? Because he's what? He's the demigod. He's the GG Ping of China and the Vladimir Putin of Russia and the little rocket man of North Korea. That's what Andrew Honus is. So nobody cannot speak to him. And you have some people who believe that when you speak about these people, Look here, Mr. Vegas. I can tell you something. You know what? Let, let me not answer you. Because you believe that you can come over and dictate to me how to run this program. I can just leave you alone. I, I won't answer you. When you have a prime minister who walk out on the Jamaican people, we mustn't talk about it. We must just leave it alone. When you have a prime minister who believes that he's Mr. Demigod, he's Mr. Dictator, who has no respect for the Jamaican people. When you have a prime minister during a budget presentation, walk out in the Jamaican people, we mustn't say anything about it. He's, he's Mr. Lord Almighty, and we must be afraid of him. We must be afraid of him. But let me make something clear this morning. I'm not afraid of anybody. I am not afraid of him. And you cannot have a Speaker of the House refusing to table the Auditor General report. And then she's going to turn it around on the clerk of the court. And we mustn't speak about it, Mr. Vegas. You believe that, you believe that, that, that I am Gina Jennings? We mustn't talk about it. We must just sit down and accept the fact. That he can walk out in the Jamaican people and we said nothing. Let me make something absolutely clear. As long as I have breath inside of me, whether it be PNP or the JLP, I will continue speaking about this piece of rock. I don't want to know about Andrew Hunas' um, bank account, nor his house, nor nothing. That's none of my business. What I'm speaking about, you cannot, you cannot have a Speaker of the House sitting down and reports. You cannot have a Prime Minister refusing to declare under the constitution of Jamaica what is his income how much asset he how much asset he, he um he has that's the constitution of Jamaica 
You need to abide by the constitution of the country. You are the leader of a country, sir. You have not declared anything. And you need to declare it, sir. And that is why we will continue to speak about it. And that is, you know something? You have some nincompoos who will come over here who do no research whatsoever. They've never seen a copy of the Jamaican Constitution. But that give them the right to come and speak. You know, distractors will always come. And distractors will always go. But when you have people who are running a country and believe that they will not, they're above the law of the country. But other people, other people must obey the law of the land. But they refuse to obey the law of the land. And we must sit down and shut our mouth because what is our party in power? What I don't understand, when your party is wrong, why you can't speak about your party? I, I, I refuse to understand people. But for those who believe But the Jamaican people will continue to sit idly by and allow these two political parties in this country to run Jamaica and has no regard for the Jamaican people. Has no regard for the Jamaican people. And some of them can get, the party can give them job at the metro in Montego Bay. Or the party can give them a little singing job when Grand Gala come around. Huh? They can call Babsy Grange and get a singing job during independent grand gala. I give them the right to come and spread their propaganda about their party. Miss Curtis, this morning, we said into the parliament, if she's not at the parliament already. A woman who has served the Jamaican people well as a civil servant. I agree with you, my friend. Who has served the Jamaican people and the parliament of Jamaica. And now she was she's she's been pushed on the bus the bus by the speaker of the House of Representatives. And you have some people, you know, because they go and get the order of old donkey. And they get the PhD and the WHEV and the doctorate of Literature and doctorate of old egg and doctorate of nonsense. They believe that they can address you because they have the doctorate of this and the doctorate of that day. They can't see beyond their doctorate.
They can't see beyond what is going on in their country. Because they can call Babsy Grange and get a singing opportunity to go to the Grand Gala and sing some damn nonsense. I don't trouble people, you know. I'll go on people's platform and I'll listen to them and I don't say a word. But we will not sit idly by. And when there is something to speak about, we will research it and we will speak about it. We don't come on people's platform and talk stupidness. Miss Curtis has served her country well. And for a speaker who don't want to come and tell the Jamaican people the truth, who are the six people? The Jamaican people need to know. Is it that there is something that Miss, Mrs. Honey see in that report that she refused to table the report? Huh? What is going on in this country? We're going to open up the phone lines for our listeners and our viewers to call in. And I want you all to tell me your views and what is going on in the parliament this, after, this morning. Because this afternoon, the parliament is supposed to convene this afternoon. And we're going to hear what the speaker of the house have to say. Sometimes I wonder why we Jamaicans will never speak about our country. Why we Jamaicans will never talk about the land of wood and water. Why we Jamaicans will never stand up for the land of wood and water. Why do we have to stand up for a political party? Mrs. Holness went to a home in her constituency. The woman, has been, the woman has been on the land for how many years? For 40 something years. And it's now they want her to come off of the land. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Make We Talk program. Hold on for me, please. Hold on for me. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hello? He is an actor. She knows what she is doing. Hold on for me, sir. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Your call not coming through to the system, sir. I don't know what's going on. Hold on a minute. I figure out something here to get you onto the system now, sir. Hold on for me. Go ahead for me now. Hello? Yeah, you hear me now? Yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, I called her the other day and I told her about Miss Valerie Actress. It's the yeah. movie going on. She's an actor. Miss, Miss yeah, Miss Curtis. Miss Curtis, she's an actor. She's part of the system. What's going on? There's a movie acting in the in the parliament. 
She's the one who tell me only to take the blame. She's the one who she know she's a professional about a clerk. She's not a fool. Let me ask you a question. Are, are... Hold on. Let me, ask uh -huh. you, let me ask you a question now. Yeah. What proof do you have that the clerk of the house tell Mrs. Holness to take what blame? Because we common sense men, we are not fools. It's time for we to take our eyes and no, see no, no, what's I going ask, on in no, there. No, 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 no. I ask you a question, sir. Uh huh. What proof do you have that the clerk of the ho the house told Mrs. Holness to take what blame? Because common sense. If oh, she, Jesus. if sir, well, you came uh -huh. here and you said that Mrs. Curtis told <laughs> Mrs. Holness to take the blame. What proof do you have? Because if Miss Owens don't fire her, is that what happened? If Miss Owens would fire her, and then you would, you would know where well it is. It, it, for what she have done, account to Miss Owens. Sir, have a good morning. All right, my brother, respect. Welcome to the Mecca Talk. Good morning, Sir Jeffrey. Yes, sir, good morning. Hello? Yes, sir, good morning. Go ahead. Hello? Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Go ahead. You're live on air. Hello? Hello, good morning. Welcome to the Mecca Talk program. Good morning, Mr. Jeffrey. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Loud and clear. Okay. A gentleman just irritated me. But anyhow, that's beside the point. Uh -huh. Um, Fire the lady for what reason? She is the Speaker of the House. Everything that comes in through those doors, she should take a look at. You see what I'm saying? What I, how, how I know the house operate, ma'am. And if I'm wrong, I want somebody to come and tell me that I'm wrong. What Go I ahead. know, how I know the house operate. When documents come into the house, the clerk of the house and her assistants go over the papers and so forth. That's what I know. All right. If I'm wrong, I'm, I'm starting to be corrected. And then, then she put it up. She sent, she sent it up to the Speaker's office. If it comes mm -hmm. to the Senate, it's likewise what she does. She sent it to the Senate. That's what I know. And you are absolutely correct. So for her, for Mr. Collins to say she never see that she didn't get it all, it's the clerk for Now you're just passing the buck on to someone else. But the, 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 the clerk of the house says she has never seen the document, ma'am. Well, we, we, well, we do believe her. That's what the gleaner's report. We do believe her, sir. The gleaner went to her and asked her for a comment. And Miss Curtis told the gleaner, I haven't seen the document. How can I comment on a document I have not seen? So the question, she has to pass the back. The question this morning that we need to ask ourselves and ask Jamaica, who is telling the truth? Exactly. And we need to we need to march down to that house sir, and demand answers because this is getting absolutely out of control. Hmm. The Jamaican people they deserve much better than this. If she was put in place as an independent, that she needs to operate as an independent. I don't care if you're sleeping with the man and put your head in the same pillow. You are an independent person. I tell you something. Everybody keeps saying, I tell you yes, something, ma'am. She's not really an independent person, you know. Based on our constitution of the country, you know, ma'am. She's a member and a, she's a member of the P of the Jamaica Labour Party. She's not an independent person. Our constitution didn't give her the the right to be independent, ma'am. Our constitution needs to be amended where a speaker is elected independently from other members of the parliament, ma'am. Okay, so how do they go? How would they go about doing that? Because putting, let me ask you a question, sir. Of the land, okay, so when they put Gillette Holmes in power, in, in, as the Speaker of the House, right? Mm -hmm. And they said that Mark Golden should have, um, should have protested against it. You have to give someone the benefit of the doubt. Yes, she was the first Prime Minister's wife. But we didn't think that she was gonna, you know, do something so stupid. And 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 uh, what what we need to understand too, you know, even if uh, when the, the the deputy clerk or whoever gave the instrument 
to Mr. Philip Powell to say to him that we're going to elect a Speaker of the House today. When Ms. Curtis asked the question, is there any other nominee? They said no. She asked the question three times in the parliament. She said, they said no. Even if Mr. Paulwell and PNP did not vote for Mrs. Honus to become speaker, the majority in the parliament goes, you know, mm -hmm. and the, P the JLP have majority parliamentarians. So that will, she will still become speaker anyhow. She was the deputy speaker when Dalrymple Philibert was there, you know. Right. So, it's what, we, just need out do, of what we need to do is demand that our constitution is being amended, man. They, they, have a constitution, yes. they have a constitution reform now. One of those things should be in the, in, in the constitution. My goodness, I don't know what is going to become of these. I've been in Jamaica, I literally do not. But I hope it changes soon. It was a pleasure so, speaking with you, sir. I hope so too, ma'am. All right, ma'am. Thanks for calling in, my dear. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the Make Talk program. Good morning, Jack Lewis. Good morning, sir. Hello? Good morning, sir. Hello? Like something wrong with your phone. The numbers are calling is... Hello, good morning. Welcome good morning, Dr. Wells. Good morning, sir. Hello? Something is wrong with your phone, you know. Everybody else is hearing me. You can't hear me. Maybe you're hearing me and trying to play games. The number to call is 954-529-8030. That's the number to call into the program this morning. 954-529-8030. That's the number to call in. You know, we need to have a say in our constitution. And I've been saying it from a long time ago. That we have a constitution based off the Westminster system. And there are some things in our constitution that the Jamaican people don't know about. And that is why I encourage everybody to get a copy of the constitution or go online and try and read the constitution. You may not understand subsection this and subsection that, but at least go through it, especially the Charter of Fundamental Rights. Especially the new gun act, the new road traffic act. Go through those things. The new bail act. Because there's a new bail act out. And you need to go through those things to find out what is going on. That you can't have people taking you for idiots. You know, we need to definitely... We need to definitely, um, hold on for me. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the Make With Our program. Good morning, Mr. Tavares. Good morning, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is something wrong with your phone, sir, because I'm hearing everybody who called me. And they are hearing me. Nine five four five two nine eight zero three zero. That's the number to call into the program. This today at two o'clock, the House of Parliament will convene with Mrs. Holness. Yes, today at twelve o'clock, the House of Parliament will convene. We want to hear what the speaker has to say. And will, will the Prime Minister of Jamaica apologize to the Jamaican people for walking out on them? Hmm? 
Well, the Jamaica, with the Prime Minister of Jamaica, apologize to the Jamaican people for walking off the job. I'm pretty much sure he will not do that. I'm pretty much sure he will just come to the parliament as business as usual and sit down and clap the desk and talk up and have these long speeches. But he will not come out and tell the people what is going on. He will not come out and apologize to the people, I should say. We're having some serious, serious times in this country. You are so correct out of many one. Out of many, you are so correct. But the people will not see that, ma'am. Ah, oh, sir. What the people see is green. That's the only thing that the people see. Green, 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 green. Or orange, orange, orange. <laughs> you see? They don't know how to think out outside the box and think about Jamaica. What all they can think about is their party and how their party this and their party that. They don't know how. Sorry about that. They can't think outside the box at all. And if we can't think for, about Jamaica, then something is fundamentally wrong somewhere. We have to think about Jamaica. We have to think about the future of our children, children, the future of this country. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Share the live feed to everyone you know. Like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you can't think about Jamaica land we love, then I'm sorry for us. I'm really sorry for this country. The land of my birth, the land of Marcus Garvey, the land of Nanny of the Maroon, the land of Paul Bogle, the land of Miss Lou and Mass Ran. The land of our founding fathers has gone on before us. The land of so many unsung, unsung heroes who have bled and, and fought for this country. But yet we, all we can think about is our party. All we can fight each other about is our party and our colors. Fighting for skates benefits and spoils in this country. The center cannot hold mere anarchy upon the land. We cannot stand by anymore. And for those who believe you can come on this platform here and spread your propaganda about your political party, you have a right to do so. I cannot stop you. But I pray and I hope that you will join a movement to save this beautiful island of ours. I pray and I hope that you will join a movement to help Jamaica not going on the road to Haiti. We love the Haitian people. Respect the Haitian people. But we must not allow this country of ours to go down the road of Haiti where our Jamaican people are running away from Jamaica like how the Haitians are running away from Haiti because of the political and economic turmoil that goes on in Haiti.
And so I say to my fellow Jamaicans out there, both home and abroad, stand up for one thing and rally around a single cause and a single purpose to save this country of ours. Do not think about the People's National Party or the Jamaica Labour Party. Think about Jamaica. That rock in the Caribbean Sea, that gem of a rock in the Caribbean Sea, the envy of the Caribbean. Think about that piece of rock. Think about that piece of rock that you surely love, that you do love. Think about that piece of rock that you came from. As I always say to my fellow Jamaicans, we came here by labor plane, not by aeroplane. Hello, good, hello, good morning. Welcome to the Make With Our program. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I am here looking and living, sir. Oh, both of us are. Uh, over a period, over the period I've been listening to, to your program, mm. uh, of course, I know you are a naturalized American. Pardon me? But I know you are, a, you are a naturalized American. You are a, a Jamaican by birth. Am I correct? Why do you want to know that, sir? All right. Sorry, sorry for including because the, the what I do want to say you know, is if any Jamaican politician does anything close to what the President of the United States is, I mean, the former President of the United States has done, they could never come, come campaign in Jamaica for any political um, office. Do you agree? Why you say that? Why? Because uh, it's over the year. I'm, I'm listening. So you're saying to me yeah. that the former president of the United States is alleged that he has done some stuff and yet he's campaigning. You're saying to me if that happened in, if that if that was Jamaica, they couldn't campaign? If if that was to happen in Jamaica, whether it is Mark Golden or or um Andrew Holness, they could never ever campaign again. I beg your pardon. So, Never ever campaign again. Why are you saying okay. that? Why? Because the election was won by by Joe Biden, and even now he's saying that um the the election was weak. Why is it? Why is in Jamaica the 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 the, the PNP last last time last time election by one seat, and they 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 um concede. So that's the reason why I say it. But you, you, you can't compare Jamaican democracy with American democracy, sir. Democracy, dem democracy is international. If it is fair in Jamaica, it's supposed to be fair in America. So let me ask you a question. Jamaica's election is always fair? No, I would never be a hypocrite and say that. No, but it's... They, I, as far as I can remember, I don't, I don't, I cannot recall that an election was won, whether by the PNP or the JLP, and um, the loser refused to concede. Let me ask you a question. In all your years living in Jamaica, sir, you're a Jamaican by birth, I presume, yes. In all your years living in Jamaica, you ever hear a prime minister come out and say he won the election? Before, before the electoral office come out and say you won the election, the, the, the prime minister don't have to have to uh, come uh, out and sir, say. Sir, stop dancing on the question now. I simply ask you a question. I said to you, in all the years living in Jamaica, have you ever heard a prime minister come out and say I won the election before the electoral office of Jamaica said, okay, is Mass Joe from the People's Never Dare Movement win? I don't know. Oh. But I, I can say this, and you might not agree to it, but the democratic process in Jamaica is better than what is in the U.S. Mm. Well, your opinion is your opinion, sir. Uh, of course, of course, I know. Mm -hmm. So, 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 
If you are beating down the country where you are born, you are born you then you. The country? You. In what way am I beating down the country? Because the, 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 the negative stuff that you say about your country. Let me ask you a question. You read the Jamaican, you read the Jamaican newspaper? I do, yes. Okay. So you don't see, not, you don't see nothing in the Jamaican newspaper that I'm talking about? Yes. Oh. You, you listen to TVJ News? Yes. You don't see you, what, what I'm talking about here. You don't hear it on TVJ News? Yes. Oh. So they're not, they're not bringing down the country? I'm not talking about bringing down. I'm, I'm saying that if, if, if you're a patriotic Jamaica, you should be oh, an ambassador. Let, let me ask you a question now, sir. If the corruption going on in the country and TVJ News is highlighting it, I mustn't highlight it. I must, I must stop, stop it up. There's no denying that corruption is being on it. I'm asking you a know. question, sir. I'm asking you a question. If the TV, if the news organizations in Jamaica bring the news and I take excerpt of the news or some voice out of the news to speak about what is going on in the country, sir, you're saying to me that I am, <coughs> I am bringing down the country? You're you biased. You're about my country? You're biased. I'm biased. I know, I know you can cut me off, but, you know. No, I'm not going to cut you off. I'm asking you a question. I'm like, answer the question. Uh, I answer the question. What, how did you answer the question? I said to you, if the news organizations are bringing the news to the people of the world, sir, and I am just taking clips from the news to, to put it on my program, I'm bringing it on the country. It's not the, it's, it's not the clips. It's, the, it's your commentary. So hold on here. Have you ever listened to some of the news commentators in Jamaica? Yes, I do. Oh, so, so they, 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 they don't speak about how I'm speaking? Jamaica is a free, con free country. People are, are supposed to, to express, express their opinion freely. Well, I'm as long my opinion freely on this program, sir. And I'm not saying that you're not. But I'm saying that you, you are more, you are more um, negative towards Jamaica than the, than the country that you have adopted. What country have I adopted? United States of America. Oh? What proof do you know that I'm I'm in the United States of America? I know. Oh, is that yeah. so? Yeah. Oh. So I must get up every day and, and talk about United States and leave Jamaica alone. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you should be fear in your commentary. Well, let me make something clear to you, sir. Jamaica is my home. I am not a member of any political party, and I don't want to be a member of any political party. I am a Jamaican, and Jamaica come first for me. So if you don't like what I say on my program, then have a good day, sir. I know you, I, I know you was going to say that. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the Mekwetar program. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Morning. Morning, my friend. Uh, I'm just... I'm just... I'm just... I'm just... I'm just... Yes. But it's you know, you see when them stroller come on, you just black them and delete them. They are negative energy. And we don't want a negative energy on this time. How can you be speaking of a fact thing to happen? Showing your card and everything, and this man still come by. Tell him to go over nationwide. Hmm. And so if you are listening, stay over nationwide. Go for Angle Yard, Angle Yard. Come off a week, off a week station, a free. I think in university. Because you have no credential, you have no motive. It's like a dark, a slow one, and I have to be a wallet. Get off of this station. Make it dark and a fear. Because you hide your conscience at two. So if you have nobody not to lie, let, they let might tell you why they're not seeing them. My good friend, I'm going to tell you something. I am getting used to something, you know. Because you have some naysayers who run YouTube channels on YouTube, who, because I'm aligned to a political, because I'm aligned to a person, a political party, what they do, whatever the person say out of his mouth, mm -hmm. they want mm -hmm. to talk over here with me. Like the person mm -hmm. have a freedom of speech to say what they want to say. 
That's what is going on. And that now gonna happen. Then I write. Then I just steal. Then I just steal. Then I write. Then it's just steal. All right. Thank you. Do not come back on the station. Yes. Thank you, darling. Bye, bye. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the Mekwetor program. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from New York, Jeffrey. Hi, my dear. How are you doing? I don't know. I mean, we, what time I'm reaching you right now? Because, you know, sometimes I'm late listening to this thing. Well, but actually, the gentleman no, 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 who just me. called. Hold on for me. Actually, okay. you're, you're live on air right now because it's a live program going on. Okay. I'm always confused about <laughs> that. Sorry. That's all right. But that gentleman that just called is a proven fact why Jamaica is in the state it is. These people just don't know how to analyze for themselves and see the fact that somebody will be poking out their eyes and they can't see. This is the reason why Jamaica is in the state for them. You are right to allow him to speak. Yes, you were right to allow him to speak, which I respect you for, for allowing them to speak. But he was a jackass. I'm sorry. That's all I have to say. And it has nothing to do with party. Because I move around with JLP people when I visit Jamaica. That's all I hang around with. And believe you me, I could say some things. I've never met some of these people that never thought violent and corruption. Yes. And there are people I know. But I am biased. I mean, I'm not biased. I mingle with everybody and anybody because that's how I grew up. Yes. My grandmother was with the founding movement with Norman Manley and Michael Manley and Buster, all of them, one moving it started with. And then when Norman Manley went to England as a barrister, he come back and Buster split up the whole thing. Hmm. Oh Lord, what happened to her? I didn't cut her off at all, her phone just got disconnected. Oh Lord. The number to call is 9545298008030. The lady was just speaking to us a while ago. I did not cut you off at all, my dear. The phone just cut you off. I don't know what's going on. And there was a call coming in. You can call back now. The caller who's calling, who just called in, you can call back now. 9545298030. Here we go. Good morning. Welcome to the Make With Talk program. Hey, morning, Jeffrey. How you doing? Hey, my um, friend. How you doing? Good, 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 man. Call you from Long Island, you know? Yes, man. Um, I'll let you sit down and watch the program, man. That the lady that got cut off, she's so right, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, when 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 you come out and you highlight the things that are happening that will be destructive to Jamaica and is something that does not have to happen and it can be corrected. When when you do this and people come out and say that you are bashing Jamaica, how can we go forward if this is the attitude that people have? But what uh, I don't understand, hmm? you know, sir. Mm. Well, I don't understand. And, and 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 some of these people though, it's like they're called base, so like cherry might eat out them brain. <laughs> what I don't understand, if the mm. news organization in Jamaica is bringing the news that's stating <laughs> that the Speaker of the House refused to table the report, and I'm just yes. I'm just repeating what they say. Yes, I'm talking about about the country. You see, you see, they would they would never stand up with you against these things it is as if you are the one that is fabricating the information when all you're doing is just reflecting just 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 echoing just pushing on that which was already out there in the media space and because it is not what they want to hear then them start thinking that you are not you. i mean I, again like the other lady say i respect you for giving people the opportunity to voice in their opinion yes, but at the I, same I, 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 I run a program everybody everybody entitled to their to their opinion of course and if of i'm course. Asking, and, and if i'm asking you something and you can't so i mean it make no sense you talk to me well listen and i think some of these people only call for waste time you know because oh, yeah. they really don't have anything to say they have no substance nothing to give i mean nobody's saying that jamaica is all bad but Jamaica is too far backwards than where it should be now. We could mm. be leaps and bounce ahead. And, 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 and because of partisan politics. Now, oh, Jeffrey, let me tell you something, you know. I am one Jamaican that if I voted for Andrew Holness and, him, and, and I found out that I made a mistake, I will be the first person to say I erred. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I'll tell you something, sir. And another call coming, mm. so we have to go anytime soon. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. Jamaicans will not 
think about Jamaica, what they will think about is their party. They don't think Definitely. about the piece of rock at the born and come and see in the Caribbean Sea. Yeah, I leave you with this part in word, Jeffrey. Yes. I leave you with this part in word. The bite of the week, that lady, just to, just to, 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 to galvanize what you say. Yes. This lady jump up on TV, but show her till she dead. I mean, no, she had dead, be hungry. That. So, <laughs> Have a good day, Jeffrey. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you. Yes, sir. A pleasant good afternoon or good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Morning, morning, Jeffrey. Yes, man, I have to call him. From what I'm hearing from that gentleman this morning, it's a, it's a disgrace to know that we have people who care about Jamaica and seeing all of these things happening and still defending the foolishness. I don't get it. I can't understand it myself. It's ridiculous of these people. I tell you, you see things happening which is not correct. And you're there talking about it putting it across to the people, to let the people know that, listen, we need to move away from this kind of politics. We need to move away from how the country is operating. And these people calling in and, and accusing you of being biased, accusing hmm. you of being wrong to the country. Come on, man. No, this, man. They, they, you, 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 they're you, stupid. You see, if I come on here and say, boy, what you know going on? We must, we must stop talking about the, 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 um, the speaker. She's doing a great job. And the Prime Minister budget speech was very good. The people of Jamaica are getting $15,000 minimum wage. Yay! Shower labor rights! That's what they want me to say. But I will never say that. And I'll win the pain for okay. power. I send, send a warning to the People's National Party. You see? If you yeah. come into power and you believe that you're not getting away scotch free with me. I will not start in anything. I will come on this air same and, and I will talk about it in the same way. We're, exactly. We're gonna, we are going to be 62 years old. And majority of Jamaicans will have water in their pipe and I mustn't talk about it. Huh? Exactly. Oh, these are things that we should be talking about every day. Moti Perkins used to do it. They never used to complain and call him and say him bias. Come on now. This yeah, man, thing... Yeah, yeah man. They will call Moti oh, and tell Moti shame bias and Moti will just... Oh. That's all <laughs> yeah, because of no foolishness, man. That man, that man got me so upset, man. I was going calling around and I say, you know, let me just call him and say my piece, you know, because this thing a joke thing. This man, the pan, come accuse you, and I can't be easily accusing Will Ratigan and 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 we are known some. Yeah, yeah, and You know, and and I can remember, you know. Before I started to listen to you guys, you know, I started to listen to you guys about November, October last year. I can remember when the Prime Minister used to say, um, social media to ignore the, the lies that's on social media. And I never knew it was you guys I'm talking, you know. Oh, yes. It's when I start listening, you know, I said, Ratin, I don't know my name, I talk. Okay. Yeah, man, so the, the more I hear him, the, dirty, the more dirty. I listen. <laughs> I tell you, them, that joke thing. We need to get rid of him straight up. I, I am for that. I am with that 100%. And I am behind Mark Golding. What he has proven last week to Jamaica is that he is the one who needs to lead us out of this foolishness. He is the one that has the knowledge and capability of leading us out of the corruption in this country. Mm -hmm. Can't get rid of corruption 100%, but bring it down to a point where people can survive. True. Bring it down to a point where people can be comfortable going to work knowing that they're working for something and can benefit from the country itself and not just a few people benefiting this is what this is the change that needs to happen in jamaica okay. i just hope people learn that and see that and move to that because the next election they need to go out and vote him out period him hmm. need to go him wife need to go period yes, and sir. thank you again for the good work that you all are doing. I appreciate it and I love it. Keep it up, man. Thank and you we'll talk again. All right. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. Yes, man. We have an next program that we have to go to at 11 o'clock Jamaica time, 12 o'clock US time. We're going to broadcast back to Jamaica and Rusland at 6.1 FM. Join me then. We're going to say so long from this program now. I was just, I didn't realize that, you know, the time was fine. As my producer gave me a wrap up signal a while ago and remind me that I have a program 
on Roots FM at 11 o'clock. Jamaica time, that's 12 o'clock US time. Thank you all very much for joining me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the Make We Talk Jeffrey Tavares YouTube channel. And join us for an exciting program coming up at 12 o'clock. We're supposed to get Mr. Devon Taylor from Jabem to speak to us about what is going on with the beach, access to the beaches in Jamaica. Hopefully we can still get through to him. If not, then we'll find something else to speak about. Until you hear my voice again, everyone, you all have a good afternoon, a good morning rather, and join me at 12 o'clock US time, 11 o'clock Jamaica time, when we can speak about what is going on in a beautiful island, the land of wood and water. When the game gets rough and this life just seems so tough, make we talk, my people, make we talk. When this town becomes an ugly place, don't let it erase the smile from your face. Make we talk, people, make we talk. Conversation is the key A guiding light for you and me Spark a talk and you will see Conflict solver A to Z World leaders master the art of self-defense Just by talk So people make we talk Hey, we're living in a world that on ourselves we must depend Make we talk